here we are on a beach in the northeast of England. A fantastic place. And the surf today is honestly unbelievable. There's like five to six foot sort of uh, waves out there. Very surfable and it just makes me miss my kayak. I cannot wait to get it out again and uh, do a bit of surfing. So I wish I had it with me. Anyway, I'm on my way back from Scotland and I'm actually dropping in to see um, a guy called Angus at the North East kayak shop um, because I'm looking at um, purchasing a touring kayak that I don't have. I've got a couple of play kayaks, play boats, you know, like sort of shorter ones, but I want a touring one so I can sort of do some camp outs and things like that. So anyway, we're going to drop in there. And I mean, this just brings it all back. This is just what I'm about. I love being out in the water in a kayak, messing about and just playing in the waves. So, what a day. Anyway, I'm breaking the journey up by camping out tonight. So I was gonna camp in the car, but I've actually got a new tent. I couldn't tell you what tent it is. I think it's uh, by 3FUL. So I will dig that out, we'll get that pitched, and hopefully we'll just sort of sleep up on one of these sort of tops somewhere overlooking the sea. But I mean, just what a day, eh? What a day. Here is the car, here is the tent, and I'm gonna pitch just on the top of there with a view of the sea. And this is what I enjoy, just getting out where you don't need a backpack and all that heavy gear with you, you can just camp out your car. So yes, it's gonna be a bit of a stealth one because uh, you know, you can't sort of really be just sort of pitching anywhere, but live by the rule, leave no trace. And really, not many people are gonna complain with you, they really aren't. So anyway, let's get off here and find somewhere just to shove this tent. Beautiful though. It's so nice to be up here, look at this. That's my view. This all is fairly flat here, so it should be pretty good to pitch. Right, let's do it. Tell you what, what a tent. Normally when you uh, set a tent up for the first time, you're a bit umming and ahhing about stuff thinking, I'm not really sure how this goes, but that is just splendid. Just sets up really easily, no messing about. And um, it's similar to the uh, Lanchan 2 Pro, just in the way that it's, it's simple. There's no sort of like, no, none of the fancy stuff that actually makes it over complicated and it's it's just a good tent just a really good tent so yes anyway there'll be a link in the description to this um as there is for the lunch on 2 pro uh, so just check that out because they're both quality tents i'm excited to get in it so all i need for tonight because the car's only there i just need a sleeping mat a pillow and my sleeping bag and that is pretty much it Anyway, I've already had a glass of wine, so might have to get another glass of wine going as well. So just one of those nice, relaxed nights. Might have to take a bit of wind as well, but anyway, we will see. Ah! While it's still light, let's get in and have a quick look, eh? Let's unzip her. Nice and simple. A couple of Velcro tags on there, just to hold the storm flap down. Slip this in her back. Let's get in. Oh, I love getting in tents for the first time. So exciting. I'll tell you what, it's spacious in here. 
definitely a decent sized two man. We've got enough width there to fit two extra large mats, I would say. So yeah, brilliant. A couple of toggles for tying the doors back because there's two doors, one either side. It's uh, completely symmetrical, I think, this one. We've got a tiny pocket there, which for a bit of out and now it might put your phone in it. So yeah, let's roll these doors back and have a look at the view, eh? like that eh? Look at this though, what a view, full seaside. Hey, does it get any better than that then eh? Ah oh, dear, I'll tell you what, it's a funny one because what, 15 hours ago I was on the summit at the highest point in the UK being the summit of Ben Nevis and now I'm at sea level so from 1344 meters I'm now down at about I'm gonna say about eight meters above sea level so yeah what a transition but still just the same epic scale that's what it is it's just about getting out and just I don't know enjoying it and appreciating all this yes anyway get some stuff in eh well that was just in time because it started raining so I have got very simply my RAB sleeping bag which is the uh, what's it called the Alpine 600 down sleeping bag awesome keeps me very warm that one and um, I'm actually sleeping on top of the Thermarest Neo Air Dream I think this is called and my I've got two of these and they fit together and make like a double mattress which uh, I sit in the back of my car um, but anyway this is super comfortable it's got the Neo Air um, mattress inside it which is 70 millimeters plus some foam and a couple of layers of nice sort of soft stuff as well if you can see so it, it just turns it into a really comfy sleeping pad um, and we've got the dog here hey blue <laughs> He's uh, chilling out. His mattress is the same width as mine, so you can see it takes two full mattresses in here. Hey, just wants attention. Ah, oh, yeah. So I'm gonna um, grab a couple more bits. I need to cook some nice dinner, and I was gonna do it all in the car, but do you know what? I might bring some stuff here and do it here. It's so beautiful. Look. Well, I did a quick run to the car, and I've just got the basics here. So, my cooking pot, cooking stove, nice and simple. Oh, that is such a good knife. Victorinox. Such a simple little thing, but that for prepping veg and stuff is just brilliant. Some water. Now, oh, let's get into the good stuff. Got a bottle of wine here, drinking out of a, a plastic, a plastic mug. Let's have a drink though, eh? I tell you what, it's just so nice not having to pack crampons and think about things like all the safety aspects of being on a mountain just simple things take a drink you know even carrying a glass bottle never do that on a mountain anyway cheers guys and what a place to be look at this view look what i am getting now
just rolling waves. Living the dream again, eh? It's a good life. Quite simply, we have a full colour rainbow there of vegetables, sweet chilli and garlic, halloumi and rice. And pretty much all that is getting chopped up and shoved in there and then put on there. Nice blue. Dinner time. Full pan there. Nice and warm to keep my hands warm. Let's have a taste of this. It's such a good meal, is this? It's so tasty. Unbelievable. even quite nice um, with that peri peri rice which I didn't think would be ideal but it's actually got a nice kick to it I like it I've got my wine in my shoe <laughs> so yeah again living the dream even if it is just for a night Yep, living the dream. Nailing the orange, eh? I'm in full camo. Full camo orange. And that's just for in a pumpkin field. <laughs> yeah, it would work. Anyway, I do love random nights like this, unplanned, where you just sort of uh, have nowhere to go, nowhere to be, and you just end up somewhere and make the most of it and I feel that is exactly what I'm doing. The only thought I had was that I was going to drop into this uh, shop and meet this guy that I chatted to um, regarding kayaks. Uh, so this is Northeast Kayaks and there's no kayak companies obviously near me because I live in the middle of the country, bang in the centre of it. So yeah, no sort of... Um, sea kayaking places or anything like that and most of them to be honest are down south um but anyway so i thought i'd just drop in and uh just have a look and just see what really is going to suit what i'm after and what i want is really is a touring kayak so i can do some um videos doing some camping out and touring you know maybe just on lakes and some sea sea kayaking and things like that so i just want an all-round boat that will suit that I've actually done quite a lot of kayaking in my time starting from when I was um, five is probably the first time I remember when I went kayaking with my dad and uh, the school that he was part of because he used to sort of teach a bit about dog suits and things like that and um, yeah since then mainly at university I did absolutely loads at university so we sort of went off and we'd get up before lectures and go surfing in the morning and things like that just loved it absolutely loved it and um, yeah, we did the Tyne Tour, which is, uh, that's quite a cool event. I won the Tyne Tour, actually. 
um, it's <laughs> the, the, you race like quite a long length of the time and um, it takes about two hours just over two hours I think I did it in two two hours and nine minutes the year that I did it and won it um, so yeah quite a long endurance event is that really hard work and I had um, my best mate Andy who um, I met at university he put the bet on that I'd win it um, purely because he knew the character I am and how much sort of drive and ambition I've got to push my body to the limits to be a winner basically and um, I had everyone else against him sort of saying there's no chance he's a new paddler you know he's not he's not got the technique he's not got you know um, he's just not got the experience to, to paddle a river like that um, fast and win and uh, anyway my mate Andy he knew he knew he did yeah so yeah it would be just awesome to get a touring kayak that I can get out and get to some beautiful places that are just out in the middle of nowhere that other people can't really get to I keep thinking about the dog though we are a team and you know it's it's easy to do the canoe thing and I've done quite a lot of canoeing as well and yes you know it's easy to get hold of a canoe I've got plenty of people who lend me a canoe to go um, do some sort of canoe touring but it's a little bit steady for me and having a full canoe with a spray deck on it just means that I can get out and you know do play in the waves a little bit you know just run some rivers and all that so yeah anyway I'll go see what I can fathom and see if there's a boat that sort of suits my needs um, and I've already planned and dis sort of designed things that I can do to add to a normal kayak where I can bring the dog to so uh, yeah you know where there's a will there's a way necessity is the mother of invention and I live by that so you know I'm gonna um, definitely if I get a kayak that's gonna suit this I will add to that to make sure that the dog can come with me on some adventures as well so there you go anyway I'm loving the new tent it's spacious I'm testing it quite well tonight because it's fairly windy you can see it moving around here on cue <laughs> um, so yeah it just it feels lovely quite happy with it so uh, I think I'll be using this again because it's just on the limit of what's okay to carry for one person even though it's a two-man tent you know weight wise and size wise so um, yeah I'll use it again and then show you in another video I'm sure but anyway it's time for sleep I've got the white noise of the waves in the background and I'm just gonna lay this lug and then we'll get to that uh, kayak shop tomorrow and have a look around so Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Take care. Morning flowers. And what a morning it is. Look at this. Got the sun just trying its best just to poke its way through all those clouds. And any light that does come through is just bouncing off the sea. Yep, this is what it's all about, eh? You don't have to be on a mountain doing some massive adventure just to get this feeling. Quite simply, just a little walk from the car in just a beautiful location like this.
I've been trying to peel myself away from this for the, the last hour. I packed up absolutely ages ago and I made myself a nice cup of tea and uh, I've just been taking it all in really. It's not often you get the time just to not worry about things and you know forget about the rest of life really but yeah anyway it's time for me to get to the kayak shop really so i'm gonna have a look there just have a, a see what will float my boat <laughs> oh dear i can do dad jokes and yeah the only reason um i'm sort of heading and thinking about buying a boat is because my dad uh, gave me a little bit of money which is enough to buy a kayak which is fantastic um and <laughs> With my dad, there's not a chance at all I would spend any money that he ever gave to me on something like a TV or, I don't know, just something that isn't outdoorsy. So this is, you know, the perfect thing that I could buy, really, with uh, something that's donated by him. So, yes, I'll uh, get there and then we'll go have a look and just see what there is. It's still allowed to leave though. <laughs> Northeast Kayaks and I tell you what what a fantastic place this is pretty much everything you can think of when it comes to kayaking I've plenty of different types of boats and I've been looking at more the touring kayaks which they've got here and I've been uh, sitting and trying out in a couple of these as well which is good and I tell you what I'm getting excited about it I do love kayaking and it's been a while since I've sort of been to a place like this where I've got excited about all the kit and everything that comes with it so yes so with touring kayaks generally you have a hatch at the front for storage and a hatch at the back and then we've also got some tie on points these are usually elasticated as well just so you can put an extra bit of kit on each boat though has their own individual sort of um, added bonuses um, if we look at this one here it's got an extra hatch as well just for putting some sort of day storage when you're out and about um, sandwiches camera gear whatever you need in that which is kind of good one um, seats all the seats are adjustable comfortable and you just trap yourself in there and you are just ready to take on the day and whatever the water throws at you whether that's a little bit of surfing possibly or messing about going down a river boats I'm looking at in particular I have to think about cameras and where I can attach cameras now some have sections which are actually pre-made to take a camera so if we look on here we've got a little flat section here and that just allows you to actually put some sort of camera mount on as well as uh, on this boat here
made into a boat. And there we go. Oh, it's nice to get back in. Yes, all these boats have just got these slight little differences which um, you may favour one over another. And these two here in particular, the ones that I've sort of picked out that I'm actually looking at. Um, and one thing I really like is just having a hatch here just so I can put my camera gear and everything really. Both of them have a, a little rudder system, which is just adjustable from just in front of you. This one's here and this one's on this side here. Um, you know, knee pads, feet uh, rests where you can adjust as well, just so you can get yourself locked in. All the seat pads and everything, they just all adjust to make it nice and comfortable for you. And obviously you want to become one with the boat. But yeah, spray deck on, and then obviously no water can get in. And then you can tackle some uh, surf and some rivers as well, which is kind of cool. Yes, I like it. This one though is the boat that I fancy most. Because as soon as you fit in, it is literally like fitting a glove. You slot yourself into one of these, the boat that's going to be the one for you, definitely. And to me, this is it. It's got everything that I sort of require. Mainly, I do like having this little hatch at the front, just so you can put your day gear in, just whatever you need. Uh, you can get attached bags and things as well, which is good, so you can put a lot of stuff in. But mainly for this one, there's a camera mount at the front and a camera mount point at the back. Um, which means I can obviously start filming and get some good footage. So after sitting in all these boats, this definitely is the one for me. And the reasons for that are, we've got a decent storage hatch at the front. So if I just open that up, there's plenty of storage in there just to put tents and things like that. Obviously dry bag it all as well. We've got this other little storage compartment here. The seat is fully adjustable and this is kind of cool because that unlocks there. So when you're carrying it, you can have this on your shoulder to stop you having the hard plastic on. So that's a good little uh, bonus thing for that. So the back of this one is the bit that I like the best. We've got a decent sized storage hatch. Obviously you need to, especially for two or three days, you need to have enough storage to put all your kit in and food and everything. We've also got a um, full sort of uh, tie-on section here which just means I can attach something here and um, possibly some sort of bag if I need that extra storage as well. Uh, but one of the main things I like this is we've got these two rails here which are used for pretty much attaching anything you want. So you can actually get clamps on, to go on here, which will be for potentially um, a fishing rod, something like that. So I can do a bit of catch and cook, which would be nice. Um, uh, also mounting cameras, anything really, whatever I need to. So it just gives me a bit more play with what I can do with the boat really. So that's a flat section there as well, which I've put a GoPro mount on, which would be nice. Although I may have to sort of think about building up um, a, higher section just so I can actually have a better angle of filming from behind but anyway it just gives me a bit more to play with that's the main thing <laughs> it's exciting though isn't it look at this could be my new boat could be my new boat Well, I have been here a couple of hours now and I've been chatting all things kayaks with the loveliest staff ever. There's such a great team here. All they want to do is help you and give you the best advice on choosing the right kayak for yourself. And obviously I have demands regarding what I need for uh, my kayak. Mainly I need to be able to film. So things like camera mounts are really important for me, storage for my equipment, um, for camping out and everything. And I am sort of thinking that there might be a way of getting Blue to come with me by um, attaching something to this. Maybe some sort of outrigger or something, I'm not sure yet, but 
I will design something. I don't think there's anything out there um, that is for a kayak uh, to take something like a dog, but you never know. <sighs> anyway, we will see what happens. But the place is fantastic. It's just got a really nice feel coming to here. It's very friendly. The staff are lovely. I honestly can't promote it further than that. It's just honestly perfect. So if you're interested in any sort of kayaking gear or any touring or anything like that, we've got some very knowledgeable people here that will help you out choose the right equipment for your adventures. So yes, I think I have chosen what I'm after. Right, awesome. I have been here for a couple of hours now and I have been harassing these guys. This is uh, Ronnie and Angus and they have been honestly fantastic. The most personable people you can get for coming into a shop and getting what you want because they are honestly incredible. So yeah, thank you to you too. Thank you as well. Thank you. And uh, yes, I have ordered a kayak. So I'm actually excited about this. Um, and the colour I've gone for is a shocking bright green um, purely because uh, when I get on lakes and rivers and whatever when I'm sort of filming and maybe got the drone out it will stand out and just look epic and that's what it's all about isn't it so anyway I'm gonna uh, say goodbye to these guys and me and the beautiful blue are gonna get out of here come on then blue let's go right take care then guys thank you thank you see, see ya so there we go, that is Northeast Kayaks. If you're interested in any kayaking gear whatsoever, then I suggest you drop in here. It's just a lovely family run business with lovely staff that are really helpful. And they are trying their best to set you on your way with the right kit that you need. And I feel that um, my service that I've had today has been fantastic. And I'm gonna hopefully be out doing some kayak touring with the kit that I have uh, purchased. And also I've got a lot of my own kit as well, which will go with that. So yeah, just brilliant. Anyway, if you like the video, give it one of those. And um, yes, let's just uh, look forward to the next adventure, whether it's kayaking, touring, or um, possibly out on a mountain, whatever it is, I'll hopefully keep you guys entertained. If you want to contribute towards the channel at all, I've got the Patreon set up so you can contribute that way or buy me a coffee. Anyway, thank you as always, and we will see you on the next adventure. So from me, Okay.